Got it? We start by looking for like terms, and we find them. 2x and 7x, 3y and y. We work out the signs. 2x minus 7x minus 3y plus y, and end up with minus 5x minus 2y minus 5z. Or perhaps you got something a little different. The same terms, but in a different order. Good news! You're still right, no matter which way they're arranged, just as long as each term is correct. Remember the commutative law from arithmetic? It says that in some cases, the order or sequence doesn't matter. It's true for addition. We can add two numbers in either order, and we still get the same answer. Multiplication, too. The order doesn't change the answer at all. Both of these commutative laws are going to be very useful whenever you go hunting for like terms. What does that tell you about this problem? Do you see any like terms to simplify in this expression? Sure you do. Look at the first parentheses. Multiply. You get 2xy. Or how about 2yx? They're the same thing, remember? You make it 2xy. Why? Because you see a 3xy coming up next. Then you multiply negative y by 4x. You could write it negative 4yx, but negative 4xy is better. You make them look like like terms because they are like terms. 2xy plus 3xy minus 4xy. From there, it's all about coefficients, and we solve it all the way down to a simple xy. Got it? Now we're ready to do problems that combine addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To be sure you can handle the multiplication, you may want to review the module on exponents. It does get a little complicated when you put all four operations together at once, addition, subtraction, multiplication, including exponents, and division. To handle that, you may feel like you need a new brain, but all you really need is a recipe, step-by-step -step directions to tell you where to begin and what to do next, and next, and next, until you're done. Follow this list. First, you handle the brackets or parentheses, then exponents, multiplication or division, and addition or subtraction. Finally, clean it all up left to right. Let's try an example. Which came first in our recipe, multiplication or addition? Multiplication did. So we get 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10. But notice how the order changes when we bracket the 3 plus 4. Now we need to use the rule for brackets. And when in our recipe list do we deal with brackets? First, multiplication comes later which means that the correct answer to this problem is first 3 plus 4 is 7, and then the multiplication. 2 times 7 is 14. A very different answer, because we had to follow a different order. Now, back to that complicated problem we saw before. Looks scary, doesn't it? But we're going to do it by using our recipe. What comes first? Brackets. I see 3y times x at the end. I could write it 3yx, but I don't. I make it 3xy to match the 5xy I see at the beginning. What's next? Exponents. We have an x cubed and an x squared, but we can't simplify either of them yet. Next, multiplication. There still isn't anything to simplify. Division? Well, the whole middle term is a problem in division. So let's focus on that middle term. Remember, you can handle coefficients, the numbers, separately. Dividing numbers is pretty easy. Handle the powers of x separately, too. Remember your exponent rules. To divide, you subtract the powers, top minus bottom. And the y is just y. You leave it alone. So you think of it in pieces, like this. 2.4 divided by 0.6 equals 4. x cubed divided by x squared Subtract 2 from 3 equals x to the power 1, or just x, and y equals y. Then put all the pieces back together again, like this. So we put our simplified middle term back in its position, and we suddenly find ourselves with three like terms. We finish up by addition or subtraction, 
from left to right, which is as simple as 5 minus 4 plus 3, taking the xy along for the ride. And that's it, the whole story about addition and subtraction in algebra. Make sure you really understand it now because you're going to need it for all kinds of things later on. It's not hard. You'll always be in good shape if you just remember to do things in order, follow the recipe, and only add or subtract like terms. If you mix tigers with elephants, you're in deep trouble. Let's try another example. It's good to practice when the steps are still fresh in your mind. I'll give you a helpful hint. You have only two steps here. First, division, and then addition and subtraction. So pause the show now, get your answer, and then come back and we'll look at it. Got it? We're looking at two division problems. The first is so simple you can do it in your head. To divide, subtract the exponents. a to the third power divided by a to the first gives us a squared. And our first term is done. It's 3 a squared b. In the second term, we have some coefficients to work on first. 12 divided by 2 is 6. The a squared is alone and doesn't change. b to the fifth divided by b to the fourth, 5 minus 4, is b to the first, or just b, which gives us our second term, 6 a squared b. And suddenly, we find ourselves with two like terms to be added. They're both a squared b's, and there are 3 plus 6 of them for a final answer of 9a squared b minus c. We solve this problem by simplifying each term in order, and then looking for like terms. Try some more examples from your textbook. Practice helps your new knowledge really stick in your brain. But if anything still seems a little fuzzy, you may want to read more about it first, or review part of this program. Either way, practice until simplification is easy.